Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D-Lord and welcome to episode number 28 of our Tennessee Titans Connected Franchise Series. We are now in week number 4. The Titans are currently 3-0 and they're coming off a 49-point performance in week number 3 against the Indianapolis Colts. The Jacksonville Jaguars, on the other hand, they are 1-2 and two on the season in third place in the AFC South. But this is the first time we're going to be taking on rookie quarterback Carter Heyman, who the Jaguars selected with the 14th overall pick in this year's draft. So they're going to take the, they're going to get the ball first. And the first play from scrimmage, they're going to hand it off to running back Bobby Rainey, who takes this one to the right side, but he will get tackled for a loss of two yards. Second and 12 now, they're going to hand it up the middle. This is Bobby Rainey taking this one for a gain of 10. So it's now third and two. We're trying to get them off the field and force it three and out. But this is Julius Thomas who comes up with the catch. And that is going to move the chains for Jacksonville. So now first and 10 this is going to be Heyman who tries to scramble out, but he gets brought down for a sack. Third and six now for Jacksonville. You're going to see Heyman dropping back and he's going to throw it and complete it. But the receiver is not going to be able to turn it upfield. So they're going to end up having to punt. And here is Marcus Mariota. Five touchdowns to only one interception so far this season. He's been very effective. But on our first play, we're going to hand it off to the rookie CJ Carr, who had a career day last season, getting 211 yards rushing. Here on second and eight, we're going to go with the play fake. We're looking down the field for Kendall Wright, but we cannot connect on him. So now it's third and eight. We're going to go with another play action, but this time Marcus Mariota is going to be brought down for a sack. So we're going to have to punt it. It is second and 13 now for Jacksonville. This is Carter Heyman who is scrambling, and he's going to take this one for a gain of about 10 yards. Third and two now. Heyman is going to be under center. He's going to drop back, and he is going to find the wide open target. Who's going to take this one into the red zone? So now Jacksonville is knocking on the door. Second to five, they're going to hand it off to Bobby Rainey, who's breaking a couple of tackles. And he's going to take this one down to the eight-yard line. Third and inches now. They're going to throw it up to Justin Blackman, who was wide open. So Jacksonville is going to score first. They're going up seven to nothing. But here is... The Tennessee Titans, we're trying to answer back. It is third and 11. We're going with the play fake. We're going to look, and we're going to find our tight end, Delaney Walker, who comes up with the grab. And that's going to be the first completion of the ball game for Tennessee. Two plays later on second and three, we're trying to go back to Delaney Walker. But this one is going to be picked off, and that is only Mariota's second interception of the season. But right here, they're going to hand it off to Bobby Rainey. Look at him breaking tackles left and right. As he gets a gain of 10 yards on that run, setting up this first and 10 attempt where they're going to find the tight end, Julius Thomas, who comes up with the nice grab. At this point, Carter Heyman is 6 for 6, and he's looking to go ahead and score another touchdown as he finds his tight, his receiver for a touchdown. So Jacksonville is beating Tennessee 14 to nothing at this point. So we need to score. We need to score quickly, but we're going to get sacked on the first play of the next possession. Third and 18 now. Mariota's going to look. He's going to find his t his receiver, Dorio Green Beckham, who comes up with the grab. So that's going to keep the drive alive for Tennessee. We're going to hand it off to CJ Carr, who gets past the defender, and he gets a nice hard run. Five rushes for 25 yards to this point in the ball game. Right here, we're going to find DGB once again, who comes up with the grab. First and 10 now for Tennessee. We're going with yet another play figure, and we're going to find Josh Gordon. We've seen the man-to-man -man coverage, and Josh Gordon's going to go up and make a fantastic play. Second and goal now. We're going to toss this one out to CJ Carr, and he is in there for a touchdown. So we're cutting into the lead a little bit. The score is now 14-7. to but here is Heyman looking, and he is going to find his receiver who comes up with the grab. So now it is second and six. Heyman is going to drop back again, and yet again, he's going to complete a pass. This time, down the right sideline. Third and ten now for Jacksonville. Heyman has plenty of time. He's going to find Justin Blackman, who comes up with the grab, and he's going to be brought down at the, tw at the 27 yard line. Later on in the second and ten, and this one is going to be another touchdown pass for Carter Heyman his 10th touchdown pass of the season third of the ball game so here is Tennessee we're down by 14 but 45 seconds remaining in the half we try to go deep for Delaney Walker that one falls incomplete now second and 10 we're going to throw this one deep and this is going to be intercepted 
coming off of the hands of Dorio Green Beckham into the safety's hands. So now they have the football with 35 seconds. They're trying to score and extend the lead. But we're going to come up with a big time hit. And this one is going to be a loose ball. And we will fall on it. So we have 29 seconds to try to at least get a field goal. So now at the second and seven, we're going to look and we're going to find Delaney Walker crossing across the middle of the field. And that is going to set us up with this first and 10 from the 24 yard line. Mariota is going to drop back and he is going to throw it. But look at this grab by Dorio Green Beckham. He absolutely goes up and he is going to moss two defenders as he goes up for the touchdown. Let's take another look at it between two Jaguars defenders. Dorio Green Beckham goes up and makes a fantastic catch. So at halftime, we are only trailing by seven points. Despite being outgained in every category by the Jacksonville Jaguars. But we get the football first, and we have an opportunity to try to tie this ball game up. It is second and 10. We're going to throw it to Dorio Green Beckham once again down the middle of the field. He comes up with the grab. Now the next play, we're going to go ahead and hand it off to CJ Carr, who takes it up the middle. And look at this. He gets the block by Kendall Wright. And CJ Carr is going to take this one to the crib. So this game is all tied up at 21 a piece but here is Jacksonville on their next possession they're going to hand it off to Denard Robertson who gets to the outside and he's going to take this one into Tennessee territory second and 15 now for the Jaguars they're going with the play action and they're going to throw it and come up with the completion to Justin Blackman who refuses to go down but we eventually bring him down setting up this third and two where they hand it off to Bobby Rainey and he does not get enough yardage so Jacksonville will settle for a long field goal and they will connect. So they are leading now 24 to 21. So Tennessee has an opportunity to take the lead with a touchdown right here. You see Mariota scrambling and he is going to find Josh Gordon down the middle of the field. He will be brought down at the 50. Now the very next play. We're going to go ahead and hand it off to C.J. Carr once again. And look at the juke move. And C.J. Carr is going to find the hole for the second time in this ball game. He's going to have a long touchdown run. His third rushing touchdown of the ball game. And he now eclipses 100 yards on the ground. So now Jacksonville is down by four. And they are going to strike back quick, quickly. As that is going to be Hearns who is taking it down the field for a touchdown. So... Just like that, Jacksonville is going to take the lead. They're up 31 to 28. Now in the fourth quarter, Mariota is going to look and he's going to find Kendall Wright, who comes up with the grab, and we're going into Jacksonville territory. Second and 11 now. Mariota is going to drop back. He's going to take off on the scramble. He's going to put the ball on the turf, but Kendall Wright is going to pick it up and he is going to take this one down to the 34. So it is now third and three. And this is going to be Mariota. He's going to find Doyle Green Beckham down the middle of the field. And that is going to be the first down. So we are now in the red zone. Second and 10. Mariota is going to find Doyle Green Beckham on the slant route. And that is going to be a touchdown. So we regain the lead once again. Here is Jacksonville down 35 to 31. Six minutes remaining. They're going to look and that is going to be a reception down to the 41 yard line. Now first and 10. A high snap. But Heyman's able to control it. He has plenty of time. He's going to throw this one deep. And this one is going to be caught by Justin Blackman. So now first and 10 from the 28-yard line. Heyman's going to look down the middle. And this one is going to be picked off by Derek Morgan. But unfortunately, we will have to punt the football back to Jacksonville. So they have 2 minutes and 14 seconds to try to win this ball game. And they're going to find Julius Thomas right there. Who comes up with the grab. Second and six now for Jacksonville. They're going to run a slip screen. And this is going to be Bobby running. He breaks one tackle. But he cannot get anything going on that play. So now third and six. Titans are trying to step up on defense. And we are going to bat this ball down. As that is Jason McCourty on the play. So now we have the football back. All we need to do is run out the clock. A minute 24 seconds remaining. We're going to pitch this one out to CJ Collins. Look at the blocks that he's able to get. CJ Carr is going to take this one all the way down to about the 38-yard line. Then the next play, we hand it off to Amir Abdullah. And Abdullah is going to break out of these two tackles. And he is going to take this one. And that is going to be the ball game. We're able to take a knee from there. And Tennessee is going to survive this scare, winning this one 
35 to 31. We advanced to 4 and 0 on the year, and this was the closest game that we had. I thought Jacksonville was going to be an easy matchup, but our secondary could not stop Carter Heyman, the rookie. He had four touchdowns on the day, but we come out with the win. But what I want to know from you guys, I want you guys to leave a comment and let me know who was the player of the game in your eyes. Marcus Mariota has 17 completions, 25 attempts, two touchdowns, but he did have the two interceptions. For our running game, CJ Carr had another phenomenal game, 21 attempts and 191 yards. He also added in three touchdowns. And then for our receivers, Dorio Green Beckham, seven catches, 130 yards, and two touchdowns. So I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below who you think had the best performance. But that is it for this episode. Please go ahead and leave this video a like. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D-Lord. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.